The Arnett House exists to help our children because they're our future. And if we don't help the children now, I don't know what our future is going to be like. And the Arnett House fills a gap. There are a lot of families out there that aren't, you know, they may not be at poverty level, but you know, they're not rich either and they can't afford these types of assistances and services, counseling, shelter stays, and just the help and support that they need without a place like the Arnett House. That's why it's so important for us to get support from the community and funding to be able to keep reaching out to these children and families that may not have as much money as the rest of them. A lot of the people that come to my parenting class, some of them are voluntarily coming on their own thinking that they need help with how they're parenting, but a lot of them are court ordered to come to my parenting class through the Department of Children and Families and often those people that they start the class, they don't want to be there. They make it very clear they don't think they should have to be there. But then by the end of the seven weeks, they're telling me, gee, this really changed my life. This really changed my idea of how to be a parent. I didn't even know this stuff existed. I never knew to think this way, you know, because it really is trying to teach them how to think differently. And it was because of the Arnett House that kind of helped me see, hey, you know, Shana, it's, it's you, you know. If we can work on you, then you know that all these other things might kind of slowly start, you know, to go away. And, and, that's, and that's exactly, you know, how my experience over there went. Uh, I had one young girl in one class just, just jump up and as I'm standing in front of the class teaching, she runs across and, and just, I've got my hands down and she wraps her arms around me and leans her head on my shoulder and just said, so no one's ever told me that I was important, that I was valuable, you know. I like to lost and almost started crying, but no one had ever told her any positive things like she believed that she was a loser and everywhere I see her now. You know, she's got a smile on her face, she's doing well, she's in school, I'm proud of her. We can read about what we do every day in the paper. And I used to be one of those people who read stories and said, oh wow, how sad. But that's as far as it went. When you live it every day and you see it, the, the things that these kids have gone through. I have never gone through these things, ever. Wow, I had it good. And I want these kids to have that. So if I can teach them that there's a better way for them, then they won't repeat you know, some of the things their parents did. I want them to be families, healthy people. I ran away from home and I ended up in the shelter part of this facility. And I stayed there for about a month and then I found out about the transitional living and I came over here and it's actually been really good, really good. And it's helped me straighten out my life. I have straight A's now from a straight F student to straight A's. I'm, I stopped doing drugs and I stopped using alcohol. I've stopped everything and I'm actually trying to get back what I had with my family. Well, it just touches my heart, you know. It brings tears to my eyes actually, <laughs> easily. Um, it's just very rewarding to be, you know, it's, it's not just me, it's like it's human beings triumphing over, you know, difficulties and everybody has trials and difficulties in their life. So when you see someone, you know, overcome it, it's, it's very rewarding and very neat to be a part of it. It's a lot of good things have happened for me. I know that, like, people care about me and I, I mean, before, I, I wouldn't have known that, you know, I, I would have, I'd probably, if, if, if it hadn't been for the internet house, I'd probably be either on the side of the road, curled up under a newspaper, or I'd be dead, one or the other. If we didn't have the Arnett House now, I think we would have had a lot of lost people because I've, I've met a lot of people and a lot of the kids that I was in there with when I see them now, not a whole lot of them, but the ones that I do see, they're doing really well with their life. You know, they're, they're doing very well, so if, the Arnett House wasn't here, I'm not sure where they would be, I'm not sure where I would be. Adolescence is much like the white water of a river. It's a very uh, tumultuous time of their life and uh, all kinds of things occur. And the point is just to get them through it safely and uh, to a smoother, quieter part of their life. And I think places like Arnett House help them get through that very difficult time during their adolescent development. Years ago when our son Gary Arnett needed help, there was no place in this community to turn like Arnett House. 
Today, Arnett House serves a very important need with youth in crisis. And I'm always amazed at when I'm out in the community, at the grocery store, at restaurants, out on the street or any place, how many people come up to me and say, you saved my family or you saved my child. At Arnett House, we do wonderful work and it's so important to this community. It keeps our community safer and it prevents our youth from getting in greater trouble. It's such a very important mission and of course it's my favorite charity. I work there often and it gives me great satisfaction to know that it's helping so many people. The Arnett House has rightly been called a lifesaver for families and children in crisis. Few worthy causes make such a remarkable difference right here in our own hometown.